This survey was conducted uh, in 2021, and uh, the attempt was to make it uh, the, the largest survey of gun owners yet done, uh, particularly so that we could get statistically informative information in all 50 states. So mm. that, this was sort of the, the initial ambition. And just to put this in context, uh, probably the last survey of this uh, scope was done back in 1994. Uh, Phil Cook and Jens Ludwig uh, did, a, did a, you know, a, a very classic, well-done survey uh, of gun owners, uh, the types of guns they owned, of the reasons for owning guns. And uh, that's a study that gets cited all the time, but it's, it's now you know, more than a quarter century old. And, and right. there have been a number of more recent surveys. Um, but I, I saw an opportunity here to uh, you know, do a survey that was both statistically informative across all states and drilled down to many details that aren't asked in, in sort of conventional just ownership surveys at the highest level. You know, do you own a gun or not? And the attempt was to be able sure. to say something more about um, uh, actual gun ownership and use patterns that are relevant to many of the, the debates we're having today. Yeah. And so, so let's start with some of those top lines that you found in the survey. This was 16,700 uh, gun owners that were identified and, and you asked them a series of questions. And some of the biggest takeaways, I think, are, um, you know, for, We've got uh, the diversity, the increasing diversity of gun ownership in America, um, the uh, popularity of gun carry among gun owners, and then uh, especially the def- the number of defensive gun uses per year. This has been a long, long-term long conversation or debate in the United States surrounding guns. This is one of the key uh, areas that people debate over, whether it's worth owning guns or not. Uh, you know, is what, a lot of that comes down to how how realistic is it that people will actually defend themselves with guns? And and a lot of the data on that, as you just noted, there is from 30 years ago. And um, it's still the center of our debate today. But your survey found um, that there were oh, more than 1.6 million defensive gun uses per year in the United States. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And and I'll, maybe I'll talk about each of those observations sort of in turn here. Uh, the, the first thing I noticed, you know, you're always comparing, you know, how does your survey match up with other surveys that are recent, but also how have things changed over the last, you know, two or three decades? And uh, I was really encouraged that sort of top line results of the survey matched very well other recent done surveys by Pew uh, and, and others, Gallup, uh, in terms of how many people own guns. But one thing we, we've noticed, if you compare back to, say, the 1990s surveys that we see, is that gun owners have become way more diverse. Uh, so the, 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 the numbers of, of Hispanics, of Asians, uh, of Blacks, and of women who are owning firearms are all up uh, dramatically from where they were 20, 30 years ago. And that was that's sort of interesting, you know, just as a top line result, because uh, I think a lot of our perceptions are end up kind of rooted in these old surveys from decades ago. And, and really, the patterns of gun ownership have, have changed fairly significantly over the last uh, two or three decades. Uh, yeah, and, that, and I would say too that that also um, it confirms some recent you know uh, data that we've got from sources that are um, you know a little bit less I don't know um, solid I would say you know like uh, for instance the National Shooting Sports Foundation which is the uh, the gun industry's trade group they do a dealer survey and that hmm. survey asks dealers to estimate how many of their customers, they are of, you know, uh, you know, one race or another. And that's how they uh, come up with their numbers for increasing diversity in, in gun ownership, which is obviously not as straightforward as just asking people themselves. Uh, but it seems that you, this survey where you do that does show that a similar result in uh, this increase in, in um, uh, black gun ownership, uh, female gun ownership, Asian American, uh, Latino American gun ownership. Uh, and so that's, it's really interesting in that regard that it's backing up some of these um, more informal uh, surveys. Yeah, and no, I think that's, that's exactly right. A lot of the stuff you you kind of would notice a bit if you're just looking at industry trends and, and sort of, you know, marketing trends and, uh, you know, casually going to you know, gun stores and stuff, you might see this, but, but it really is showing up in the data. So, uh, just, you know, some overall numbers here, uh, approximately one out of four uh, African-Americans own firearms now, uh, uh, even more than that, about 28 percent of Hispanics own firearms, uh, about 20 percent of Asians own firearms. And uh, for whites, it's around 34 uh, percent 
Uh, but we're, we're that that number has held pretty steady. But in all these other groups, uh, those are significant uh, changes, significant rises. And uh, what's even more interesting is some of these demographics of gun ownership um, are, are even more in greater parity when we start to look at things like um, AR-15 style rifle ownership and, and uh, magazine ownership and that sort of thing. Uh, but the other big the other big trend that showed up kind of on the surface very quickly, which matches sort of what's going on also on the legal side, is uh, compared to the 1990 surveys, it, uh, a lot of people who are saying they carry guns for self-defense. And, and we asked this question sort of in a few different levels and ways, uh, trying to ascertain if there are people that sort of ever carried a gun. Uh, and it might include on their on their property. Uh, uh, you know, it might include in a, in a state well where you're you don't need a permit to carry. And uh, over half of gun owners uh, said that at some point they, they do carry a handgun uh, for personal protection. Um, and then we we try to drill down to under, ascertain the frequency of carrying. You know, how often, for what purposes, and whatnot. And uh, uh, you know, approximately, you know, we're getting, and I'll, I'll just get the number here uh, directly, but uh, something like, you know, 20, 30%, I'm going to pull this up uh, just so I have it in front of me, uh, of people are saying that they're actually, uh, you know, carrying with some frequency. And the other thing that was interesting is uh, so th- about 35% of gun owners said that they had wanted to carry a handgun for self-defense in some circumstance where they weren't allowed to. And uh, sort of in the, in the light of the Bruin ruling that, that recently came out, I thought that was a kind of interesting uh, thing to note that there, you know, we've seen a lot of legislative change over the past two or three decades in terms of the right to carry in, in individual states. And uh, now the Supreme Court has affirmed that that, that is a, a more general right guaranteed by the Second Amendment. Um, so this, you know, that, that's definitely yeah. showing up in, in the data as well, that there's more people than uh, two or three decades ago who are saying that they carry regularly. Uh, for right. the purpose of self-defense. And so that sort of implies as well that there's uh, perhaps going to be even more people carrying um, uh, for self-defense in the near future because of because of Bruin. And uh, now, obviously, there's a lot of uh, political uh, machinations that, that have pre- continue to prevent many people in California and New York from carrying guns, um, even in the aftermath. But it'll probably take a little while for that all to get sorted out. Um, but the survey seems to, you know, from what you're saying, it it seems to indicate that there is even greater potential for Americans to carry, you know, a larger percentage to carry guns. Yeah, that's right. And and so just to to get the precise numbers, so it's about 35% of gun owners that report carrying a handgun uh, with some frequency. So that's saying they carry sometimes often or or almost or always. And um, and that's like tens of millions of people, right? Yeah, yeah. And so, and we we estimate uh, also how many people are regularly carrying under a concealed carry uh, regime? And, and th- there's some states with now constitutional carry or, or permitless carry, uh, which is going to make this a little harder to estimate in, in years going forward. But uh, it looks like a, around 20 million Americans are carrying on a regular basis right now under, and this is in 2021, but carrying on a regular basis under a kind of permit uh, regime. So that's, uh, you know, that's approximately a quarter of gun owners. And uh, I suspect that, yeah, those numbers may go up uh, in the post-Bruin uh, period. 